hi it's been a long time since the last update it's been a crazy week works just be keep, been keeping me so busy uh, and I've had internet problems so I couldn't upload and you know I can make a video if I can't upload it two days later the volumes have changed it's irrelevant looking at first an update there's some questions I can't remember all the questions I'll get to them but some of the questions I'll answer and then I have some pictures of more pictures old pictures interesting uh, old pictures anyways so the Waal River the Waal Dam is still uh, at 111 percent and the inflow has dropped down to 600 cubic uh, outflow 700 so they're recovering flood controllability dropping the level Bloom of Dam inflow is 2000 cubic outflow is also 2000 cubic it's at 110 percent and they're maintaining that and then looking at the orange side Garib Dam started dropping the inflow started dropping down to 2000 cubic the level is 115 percent and the, the, the overflow now is 2000 cubic so she reached the peak and that's stable now the 2000 cubic outflow from Garib is going to Van der Kloof and Van der Kloof uh, between 1,800 and 2,000 cubic, the overflow will be. We'll, 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 we'll see how that goes. That means that between the orange and the Waal, we're between 3,800 and 4,000 cubic. Now, our pre previous peaks was at 3,000, so this is a lot more water. Uh, the estimate on the levee, if I do a quick estimate, I think we'll reach about this point, about halfway from where it currently is up. Uh, so I think we're still safe. The problem for a lot of farmers now is they've got levees, the levees are high enough for the flood coming, but because the flood is uh, over such a long period, levees are getting saturated and they're in danger of collapse when they get saturated. So that could be a problem. I don't think we'll have that problem here. Uh, We'll have to see. Now let's look at some old pictures. The old pictures, uh, these were taken in 1988 just before the flood. And that flood was 7,600, 7,800, the difference a bit from the different uh, measuring stations. And if you look at these pictures, the trees are there. The date trees, grape trees, uh, grazing. Then came the flood. Remember my house, this, this picture was taken from my house. My house is about 500 meters from the levee and the levee is about another 80 meters or so from the bank of the river. It's all the way up to my house. It covers every, everything in sight on the flood level, on the, on the lower level. And then after the flood, the aftermath. At that stage, there was no levee. You can see the river in the distance between the trees, behind the first trees in the far distance, you can see the river. Now, after the flood, lots of the, most of the date trees that were there uh, had drowned. You can see most of them dead, a couple of them survived. But then the plans were made to build the levee. The levee was made. And irrigation started again and farmers are uh, forever the uh, optimist. Next year will be the better year and the irrigation starts again. Then questions about the river, about the dam specifically. I can't remember all the questions. I, I got them there, I'll, I'll look at them. Uh, the Waal Dam and the Bloomhof Dam, this was mentioned by someone commenting, uh, controls floods with the gates there. Now the Waal and Bloomhof Dam has less capacity than Garib and Van der Kloof Dam. Uh, Waal and Bloemhof together is about the same as Garib alone. So Waal and Van der Kloof, a Waal Dam and Bloemhof Dam has more flood control ability than Garib and Van der Kloof 
because of the gauge that they have at the top. On the top, they, they have more flood controllability. On the Kloof and Gariep, they have control flood just with the bulk of the uh, capacity, leveling it out as it flows in. So, the question about Van der Kloof was, he, there, there was a rumor that the, the, the emergency uh, floodgates are not even operational anymore. Uh, the emergency flood control valves are still operational. They are only used, and this is described in other information that I saw about the dam, they are only used in case of emergency, in case of danger to structural damage to the dams. So, anyway, just a quick update. I'll see if I uh, can dig up some more old pictures. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.